one thing on the menu is going to be the osobuco. The osobuco, and we're going to do it right here. Okay. And I got some nice veal shanks over here, mm -hmm. hind shanks. They're real nice. They look beautiful. Uh, we flour them a little bit, mm -hmm. season them, and then we put them in the skillet and okay. get them nice and brown like this. Now you put them in the skillet medium, medium high? Yeah, just medium high and just get them nice and brown. Okay. And then we take them out mm -hmm. and then we start the sauce. Okay. And what we do with the sauce, we put some carrots in there, nice diced carrots, and the recipe is on the website. And we're also uh, showing it here right uh, and now then as we well. have Celery. Celery. You know, we get a little celery action really going just on. Just the basics. Just the basics. All the nice earthy flavors. Onions. Onions in there. Okay. And then, of course, we always got to have the garlic. Now, how much garlic would you put in if you're, if you're a real. Do you like garlic? I love garlic. Okay, let's, let's put, put it, it all in. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's it. Let's put it all in. Don't there. be shy. So, we got that all in. Then, we put some herbs in there. I got some sage over here, some mm -hmm. fresh sage. Mm -hmm. uh, thyme. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, oregano. It's 9.51. Oh, and, I'm just kidding. And marjoram. <laughs> marjoram. So that's okay. really the secret uh, recipe here, the marjoram. Now, what we want to do is we put a little bit of tomato sauce on there. Mm -hmm. We let that roast for about two, three minutes. Okay. We put a little tomato sauce on there. And then the most important thing, we put some Barolo wine. Barolo wine. And this is from North at Italy, and it is very... Rustic. Mm -hmm. It's a cold weather wine. It's absolutely fantastic. And you I don't like deviate from the Barolo wine. No, no I don't. You but don't. you can use okay. any wine, though. You okay. know what I'm saying? So you put it in there, and then we put a little lemon zest just for a little foodiness. Mm. And of course, salt and pepper. And we got everything in, and we go to the oven. In the magical GMT kitchen. The magical uh, Channel 8 Super Oven. <laughs> and <laughs> by the magic of TV. That's how it looks there is like. A look at the final. Nice. Oh, it looks beautiful there. Okay. And of course, you've got some risotto on the side. Got some tell us, what is the trick to making perfect risotto? It's like not an easy First thing to make. First of all, not be afraid to cook it. Okay. Most people, oh my God, risotto. Very simple. Mm -hmm. Olive oil in the skillet, little onions, put the rice in there, saute it nice, and then you add chicken stock. Oops. Ooh. Chicken stock to it. And you just steer it constantly mm -hmm. okay. and just keep on putting. Ooh, that smells good. All right. And what we're doing over here is today we put a little piece in there. Mm. We already had it cooked down, a little piece. Now see, normally my risotto sticks to the pan. Okay. Cheese. Yours it doesn't. Okay. okay, cheese always last mm -hmm. because we want to put it in last. So we have it nice and okay. And then we put a little uh, uh, basil in there or mm -hmm. a little oregano or whatever spice you like. And then we just toss it around a little bit. You can, then we're going to plate up this plate. If you can move this mm -hmm. plate over there and you can move that okay. over here. We and go. then we have this beautiful risotto we have right mm -hmm. here. Ooh, look at how stringy that it is. It smells wonderful. Nice risotto. Okay. And then we're going to go over here and take some of that. You can set it down. Okay. You, you sure? Burn yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that nice risotto beautiful. over here. Then we have another spoon over here. And we take mm -hmm. that nice thick sauce. We let it reduce beautifully. Okay. And then just pull it over there. Look at this, how that smells oh, and looks. Oh, beautiful. Get a nice, earthy, it's a very traditional uh, uh, entree, an it Italian entree. And more put cheese, a, top and More cheese. Maybe put a little sage on top. You see, I really like a little sage with that. And wow. voila, here you go. And oh, you have also buco with pea risotto. You know, unfortunately, we've run out of time, but we'll, we'll try it after the commercial break.